Cry. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Oh, wow. That was an amazing interview session. I feel, you know, like the way you, you've had something like very delicious meal, but then you're still not satisfied. Like, not going for seconds per se, but you feel like the portion you had served was very little. That's how I feel right now. So maybe the inspirational vibe segment will be able to fill us up, all right? Um, the scriptures today are found in John chapter 13 and verse 34. And the title is Love One Another. And so the scripture says, a new command I give you, love one another as I have loved you. So you must love one another another all right let's think about that for a minute isn't that a tall order you know of actually <laughs> a very tall order to feel wouldn't you say like isn't it um so hard to actually love love one another it doesn't say love your family it doesn't say love your friends it doesn't say love those who love you back the scriptures just say love one another I feel it's a tall order. And as a human being, you know, spirit aside, as a human being, it's definitely the hardest thing to do. It's not easy. Even some cultures would go ahead and say, hey, we're not loving, we're not marrying for love. Love will grow, you know. Let's uh, marry because we need to fulfill, you know, the obligations of our culture. It's very, very, very tough. But guess what? Jesus actually did that, you know. Look at this scenario. So he has just washed the feet of his disciples, all right? So you see where we are right now? Yes, he's up there in the house, and he's washing the feet of his disciples. He knows over the next few hours, Judas will betray him, all right, with a kiss. He knows Peter will deny him three times. And what happens to the other ten disciples? He knows they will forsake and leave him to die alone. Yet... He still washed their feet, knowing they would do this. He still goes to the cross for them while knowing they will abandon him. I'm not sure, honestly, if I can love like that. I'm not even pretending. I'm not even going to try it. Like, God, if I know what to say, what Nick and Anipangia kwa maisha yangu, trust you me. It's going to be so, so hard to prophesy and say, hey, I still love and care about this guy. It's a very, very hard. I'm sure I'm talking to someone out there. Love one another. Yet, however, with the Holy Spirit's help, hallelujah, someone say hallelujah. With the Holy Spirit's help, I will make a renewed commitment to love others and throw me under the bus, you know. As a person, as Sally standing here before you, I cannot do it by myself, by my own strength, by my own will, I cannot do it. But the Christ in me, who promised me a helper in the name of the Holy Spirit, he is able to renew my heart, to renew my soul, to renew my mindset, and embrace love, irrespective of whatever is sent my way by that person. Why is that important? It is important because the point here is, and that's what we're emphasizing in the month of January, ensuring that God's presence is felt in you, by you, through you. You cannot stand there and say you are his instrument. You are his vessel for his use. You are his person that God can be able to say, oh, that is my child. Yet, whatever it is that comes from you, whatever it is that comes from your actions, him fully. And that is the challenge I throw to you, to me, out there today. <sighs> Let's just believe. Make that to mend relationships. It's very, very important. We've just started the year where, you know, heart instead forgive. You know, when you forgive, eventually love comes in. I know it's very easy to say, yeah, I'll forgive, but I'll not forget. Fine. It will take time. However, when you allow the Holy Spirit to renew your heart, forgive you first, love you first, then it's very easy to trickle in someone's life. Love one another as Christ loved us. Let us just endeavor to be 
Christ-likeness because we are here. We are proclaiming that we are heirs of the kingdom with him. So let's abide with the teachings that he taught us back then. And this way we'll be able to actually win and conquer and the good Lord will see us through all our actions and steps in Jesus mighty name. Amen and amen and amen. The Bible also says in the book of Corinthians, let everything that you do be done with love. Do it with love. Because it's one thing loving, the other thing expressing. And of course, and you love even with your action and do everything that you do to your friends, even to those people that don't love, like you. Love them back. Mkunjufu. Asante sana. All right, that's how. <laughs> hey, we have to really wrap the show, man. Um, hmm, I feel so sad, but uh, we have to come to the end of the show. Mm. There's someone very special. I want to actually say a prayer really quick. They are down, you know, uh, so much affected by the flu. You know yourself, and I know you are watching. I want to stand with you in prayer right now. So a quick one. Uh, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, I want to come before your presence, and I want to say that, Lord, I know you are able to restore, to heal, and to be able, Father God, to make new, Father God. I cancel and render powerless the attacks of the enemy that, Father God, um, are attacking this special person right now watching, Father God. Father God, she trusts that, Lord, you are able to heal and make her whole, Father God. And so we speak the power of resurrection. We speak the power of restoration, and we claim the blood of Jesus, Father God, upon her life right now. May you heal her. May you make her whole. And, Father God, cancel, null, and void all the attacks of the enemy sent to render her powerless. But, Father God, as she proclaims your goodness, and she proclaims that you are a healer, Father God, you are able to restore her. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray and believe. Amen. Amen. Receive your healing in jesus mighty name awesome when you say thank you thank you so so much for choosing to watch jc circle show thank you so much for starting with us up to now thank you so much it has been indeed a very different show today i do not know why but the holy spirit knows why and even the songs that were played today by dj nix you know the guests that came in today there was just some mellowness that came with the show mm -hmm. and what is that supposed to tell you that when you release yourself when you release everything before lord the lord he will definitely take charge may you allow him to do so today and the rest of your week you know taking charge and letting god take first place and then everything else falls into place thank you so much the transmission crew for ensuring that we had a smooth flow of the show thank you so much um you know the sound team led by you know obama and the tr uh, the technical side led by miss miriam thank you so much our programmer miss yvonne out up there and our production team thank you led by you know our mama even in absence uh, miss evelyn kangai and our able per eh, by the way she had her birthday yesterday oh miss kira eh 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 yes ile ile yetu ile yako ile ambio ambio ama we have a vocal uh, <coughs> 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 to see a ribu maneno oh lord 